A new update for Hogwarts Legacy is out right now and you need to do this right now in Hogwarts Legacy before things change and you miss out. To add to that flying dragons around the world and it turns out that you can accidentally kill Sebastian. So yes we have tons to get through, if you can leave a like it helps a ton but turn that into a dislike if you do get to the end and did not enjoy the video. P.S. Welcome to the magical world of Harry Potter. So a new update is here and as always it states the following. This patch addresses overall gameplay performance and stability as well as online connection improvements. Now one of the biggest things that this patch has done to the game is first of all fixing Biscuit's lock. So Biscuit is finally free and the notes also say and I quote, fixed female avatar face appearing different from creation preview during gameplay. Now I know this was a big problem and tons of people are now confirming that there is actually a clear difference and that the patch has actually fixed that so there's some good news there. Now the overall list itself is pretty extensive so I'm just going to go over some key ones. So what we have is updated facial animations, fixed DLC flying mount inventory issue potentially disappearing during a mission, fixed issue with waypoints being in the air instead of on the ground within Hogsmeade, fixed missing exit prompt on some doors within Hogwarts, fixed wagon carts clipping into one another while the avatar is blocking them, fixed broom speed parameters and then improved tracking for room off requirements. Now as I say the list does go on for quite a while so these are just some of the key things that stuck out to me but if you want to see the full list I'll leave a link in the description below. Now you need to do this right now before you miss out. So there is a glitch in the game that allows you to well surf your broom but not just surf the broom because you can do spells on the broom too and you'll see me surfing on my broom and doing some flybys on some enemies which may I just add is super hard to do by the way but if you can do it it's a super cool feeling but if you want to do this before it is fixed all you need to do is head over to the location that you see on screen, walk towards the rocks and then simply mount your broom in the direction that I am. Now if you are lucky it will happen straight away but 9 times out of 10 it will take a few tries but it never really takes more than a few minutes at least from my experience and it's totally worth it once done as you can fly around the Quidditch pitch, past students and overall it just has a really cool feeling to it. Now the downside is if you accidentally accidentally remount your broom it basically spawns another one however what I also found which is really cool is that it does allow you to go into a first person mode too now not all the time but sometimes again it just kind of glitches itself in that I guess you could say mode now what you are left with is a cool drone effect that allows you to just basically explore the world and get some really cool cinematic shots if that's what you want to do but it just overall again has a really cool feeling to it so it's definitely something you want to give a shot right now before it is very likely going to be in the next patch. Now talking about cool things, modders are doing some crazy things in this game and flying dragons is one of them. Something that honestly felt should have been a thing already but it looks and feels beyond cool as if it was an actual feature in the game. Now you can use three different types and they all look great and even have the perfect sound effects. Now I've said it from the start and that is that I wish and I seriously mean this I wish big time that we were able to do this in the game as a standard and have other dragons attempt to knock our dragon down potentially whilst in midair. I just felt that the dragons were a big part of the game and definitely were in the marketing so it does feel like a missed opportunity in my honest opinion. Now what the modern community is doing right now is bringing these smaller features to life that we also hoped for and what I really hope is that the devs are taking some notes and that they see if they can basically make this as something accessible in the future for the game and if not in this version then maybe for the next installment because hey we do know that that's their vision right they do see this technically 
as stated by themselves as a long-term franchise or a franchise in general so that potentially means loads of dlcs and expansions right down to quite literally sequels to the game which again we've gone over this multiple times but it does seem like one of those games that literally just has so many endless opportunities i guess you could say and i've said it again a few times that i feel this game has at least a decade's worth of content now if you disagree do let me know in the comment section below but i mean come on there is just so much that you can actually implement in this game now it does turn out that it's possible to accidentally kill sebastian in the game now credit to the reddit user who shared this but as you can see it's pretty evident that it is quite literally by accident and acts as a bug but it left a lot of people talking now someone did say the following interesting could this mean that we could potentially betray him while doing the quest even if it's likely a bug it actually be an interesting little what if scenario that reminds me of the various outcomes I could have in the DA games by doing certain things. Now, I think we can all agree that what we did actually expect is the full fledged good versus evil mode, so this definitely allows you to partially choose that role, even though it is very, very likely just a bug in the game. But again, if you want to kind of go down the route of role playing and creating your own story, then I guess this is one of those things where you can almost say it's just an opportunity to make that story just a bit more interesting so to say but when we do actually talk about the good versus evil mode and i spoke about just a few moments ago regarding dragons in the game if you go back to pre-launch of this game again there were so many things that we kind of had the i wouldn't say expectation but we kind of envisioned that okay this is the route that they could be going down so even if there's not a full-fledged which we clearly know a good versus evil mode in this game i truly believe that adding something like this along alongside what I mentioned about dragons in the game and actually being able to mount them and do X, Y, and Z, I truly believe that should be in a sequel. Now, even when I do mention about dragons, and again, what we're seeing simply by the modding community is pretty evident that at the same time, it's not something that's incredibly difficult to add in the game. And one thing that's really random, which I know a ton of people have experienced, I mean, I technically have not experienced it myself right now, where you're just playing the game and you randomly see the dragon spawn on the map and then come down into the sea take something out and then fly away i've not seen that and i know there are tons and tons of people that literally have played hours and hours and hours of the game and are yet to encounter that so there's definitely these random things in the game but again when it comes down to the animals and mounts and so forth i truly truly believe that dragon should have been a standard and i just want to see it in the future because again I think it's all evident and safe to say that a lot of people do just fly on the broom. Now, there are 60 days left and, well, fans are not happy about it. So check out the video that you see on screen right now.